Hey everybody, Stephanie Berner here, Director of Education with Dream Nutrition, and I'm back to do a little overview of my most recent blog post, which is, what is CBD? This is just gonna be a um, quick and easy overview. If you'd like more detail, please go read the blog. So starting out, CBD stands for cannabidiol. Cannabidiol is a cannabinoid, and it is found within the cannabis plant. There are tons of cannabinoids, over 100 in the cannabis plant. Another one that is quite popular would be THC. THC can have some um, head changing or effects or give you a high, whereas CBD does not do that. Um, it is more known for its calming effects or its anti-anxiety effects. Um, these are both phytocannabinoids. Phytocannabinoids are from plants and we can utilize them within our own bodies to help uh, optimize our endocannabinoid system. We also produce cannabinoids, which you may have guessed are called endocannabinoids. And those are, like I said, within us and they have um, just as big of a job to do with providing a way for us to stay calm, stay focused, um, or even helping with um, pain or inflammation when those things come up within our own bodies. Next, we're going to move into what the cannabinoids interact with, and that is the endocannabinoid system. Back to the endocannabinoid system, this is something that was just discovered in the early 90s when researchers were looking further into cannabis and its effects on the body. The endocannabinoid system helps us by providing balance. It can, it can, it is one of the only systems that we've discovered that helps all of our other bodily systems get back to homeostasis. Um, it helps us also adapt to internal and external stimuli, whether something that's going on inside of us um, or something that's going on in the environment around us, it can help us to adapt and change in the face of any type of adversity or issue. Um, so how does CBD work with the endocannabinoid system? What it does is it can help slow the process of breakdown of one of our most important endocannabinoids known as anandamide. Anandamide is named for the Sanskrit word ananda, which means bliss, so it is known also as the bliss molecule. Um, because CBD slows the rate of breakdown, it allows for a buildup of anandamide. And the more anandamide we have, the more blissful we shall be. So it can help regulate mood, memory, motivation, and even reproduction. All the things that when we um, have more bliss molecule, um, we can be on the, uh, on the better side of joy and happiness. Um, also, anandamide is what binds to our CB1 and CB2 receptors. Those are also uh, what THC is binding to. So again, CBD is different because it doesn't necessarily bind to those receptors, but it allows for our endocannabinoid anandamide to do so. Next, we'll talk about um, the big question, do I need CBD? Well, I believe that you do. I believe that I do because there are many apparent benefits that have been shown through science and just through, through anecdotal use. Um, epilepsy is a huge one that got a lot of press. Um, we were seeing it being used widely, especially in children with epilepsy to help prevent numerous seizures. And we saw a lot of promise with that. And, and of course, doctors are prescribing it and it's being used um, commonly in all over the United States. It's also been known, of course, to help with anxiety, sleep, um, and anti-pain uh, benefits. So phytocannabinoids, as we discussed earlier, are from plants, and they can be used um, in order to ramp up our endocannabinoid system, give it a jolt, um, and, and get it back into working order. And, and that endocannabinoid system is truly important if, like I said, we want to get back into balance. And um, so we believe that it's important for people to at least try CBD oil because we do all have that system and we are set up for phytocannabinoids. So if you decided to venture into the world of CBD, you might be asking, how do you use it? Well, first and foremost, it would be a wise idea to find a reputable brand, someone that you trust, someone that you can ask questions to, you may want to know the manufacturing process, you may want to know exactly how much CBD is in each dose that you'll be taking. We think that's really wise. 
Also know, please, that CBD is a personal experience and, and somewhat of an experiment for each user, especially the first bottle or two. Uh, because what you're going to be doing is taking a little bit, um, starting low and titrating up or dosing up um, while also noting the effects that the CBD is having on you. So it's really wise to write down how much you took and how it made you feel, um, especially with that first bottle. And then what you can do from there is realize, okay, on my best day, I needed this much, so this is how much I'll take. On my worst day, I maybe needed a little bit more. Note that, and for the next time you purchase your CBD, you'll be prepared to purchase the product that is right for you. Uh, we don't want CBD to be complicated at all. We want you to know that it's safe, um, also for children and pets, but of course that is up to you. And we want you to be able to ask any questions that you might have. So please feel free, once again, to reach out to us, um, whether that be writing us or calling us or leaving questions here. And we appreciate you staying tuned and looking for more information on the endocannabinoid system, CBD oil, and dream nutrition. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you again next time.